Hi everyone, I would like to share an interesting post with you, Dance Ranking in Power Query, written by Philip Tracy from my online training hub. In the post, Philip discussed how to create a dance ranking using Power Query. And the interesting part is the unexpected behavior he encountered. Of course, Philip also provides a solution to that. I suggest you to read the post before you continue to watch this video. You may find the link to the post below. In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way to solve the same problem. Let's have a look. Thanks Philip again for allowing me to use his sample file in my video and in my blog for demonstration. So let me walk you through very quickly what we try to achieve here. We have a table of different students in two different classes. We have the source of them. What we want is to create a column of dance ranking according to their scores in each subject. So this is our expected result. Before we dive into the Power Query, let's think about the process, how we are going to deal with the questions without the rank function. Just to let you know, in Power Query, we do not have this function to give you the ranking. So let's think about how we can do it. Think about the situation. What we care about is the scores and the course. So let me copy this data into here. So because what we want to do is a dense rank, so we don't care about any ties. In this way, I can remove all the duplicate record. So I'm going to snap the data range here, go to data, remove duplicate. Okay. Okay. So I've got a unique list of the scores here. And then I want to rank it. So ranking is just a simple order by descending order, right? So for this one, after the sorting, this will be rank number one, this will be rank number two, this will be number three, number four, five, six, seven. Very simple. Now we have the lookup table that we need to map the result from here back to our original table. So for this record, we know that English scores of 75 is rank number seven. For this record, English scores 76 will be rank number six, and so on and so forth. So this is exactly what we want to achieve in the Power Query. Let's see how we can do it right now. First, select anywhere in the table, go to data, from table range. I'm going to load the table into Power Query Editor. Here we go. And to create the helper table for the lookup, I'm going to make a duplication of this query. Right click here, duplicate. Now rename it to rank. I don't need the first column, so delete. I want to remove the duplicate. So here I click on this icon, remove duplicate. There we go. But we have two different clauses, so we need to sort by a different clauses. We can do it by group by. So I go to transform, group by. I want to go by cross the new column, let's name it to record. The operation I need is all rows because I want all the record. The result is two simple rows. In the English, we have a table with all the records of English. 
On the second table, we will have the record for all uh, the Spanish records. So I need another table. The table that show me the scores in descending order. I need to add a custom column to do that. But if I simply add the custom column, it required me to input a custom column formula, which I don't know what to input. So don't be panicked. I can actually write in on the user interface. I am going to select a table here. Just click on it. I create an additional step that I am going to delete later. What I want to do is, in this table, I want to sort the scores in descending order. It can be easily done. And in the formula bar, I have the formula that I need. So I'm going to copy this formula. For these steps, it is no longer required. Remove also this step, removed. When we are back here, group the rows, I'm going to add custom column. This will be a table sorted. So I'm going to paste the formula, but I need to do one minor adjustment. The adjustment is to tell the formula, where is my table? The table is not English in our steps here. The table that we want to convert, we want to sort by the scores in descending order is actually under the column records. So what we are going to do is to double click records here. No syntax error detected. Good. Okay. See that now we have created a custom column with the table that is with the scores sorted in descending order. Also this one. The next step is to add an index column next to it. Yeah. Again, I don't know the formula, so I'm going to use the same trick. I'm going to click the table here. Then in this step, in this expanded table, I'm going to add an index column from one. This is the index column that I have, and this is the formula I need. Before I copy it, I want to change the header's name here. So I will change it to dance rank. Perfect. Now I'm going to copy this formula. Copy. Again, this step no longer required. Delete. Delete. Here I am going to add a column, custom column. This will be the table with rank. In the formula, I'm going to paste the formula. I just copy it. Again, I'm going to change this English to table sorted. Table sorted. Done. Now we have two tables. And in these two tables, we have the scores in descending order, and we have an index column to give us the dense rank. So this is what we need. We can remove all other columns. Right click here, remove other columns. Then we can expand the table. We want all three columns, but we do not want the original column names as previous. So uncheck this both. Okay. So this will be our lookup table. We can do the lookup by using the merge query function. Before we do that, let me define the column, define the data type here. The clause is test, and this tool will be whole number. Okay, we are ready to go. Select the original table, student scores. Go to home, merge queries. Let's do it as a new query. What we want to 
should do is according to the two columns the first one is course the second one is schools and then we want to do a merge basically it's a lookup in excel worksheet and this is our lookup table the value the columns that we need is first course second schools make sure you have them in the correct order this is super important so the left joint, uh, the job type is the left outer, which is good. Okay. This is the result of the table. Yeah. So we can expand it. We just want the dense rank. Done. We can rename the query here. Just rename it to result. Before we load it into the worksheet, we may want to sort it in the ascending order here and descending order here so that we can see who is ranked the top to the bottom by each course so we are now ready to load the result let's choose close and load to i'm not going to load it into table right now if i am going to do so I will have three different tables loaded into three different worksheets. I don't want it. So I select only create connection for the moment. Okay. Now I have the three tables in connection. I want to load this result query into onto the worksheet. So I write it, load to. Now I select table and then I select the destination that I want. Okay, there we go, as simple as that. Mm -hmm.